Today is a very exciting day, not just because I have a piece of my hair sticking out in the back of my head, but because we have a mystery package from Pokemon Company. And by mystery package, I mean I know what's inside it. I'm assuming I know what's inside it. And that should be the newest set, which is Brilliant Stars, right? Which I'm insanely excited about, by the way. Look, I don't care what you guys say. I know there's been a big critique about... Ooh, oh, it is, it is. I know there's always a big critique that whenever we get a new set and they put another Charizard in, some people that get some people get tired of it. I do not. Woo! So we got that. And we got a booster box. Okay. I'm going to tell you right now, and this might be good news to some people who actually really, really care about this, but I pre-ordered a lot of packs and boxes for this set. I want to pull the Charizard. I'm most likely going to buy it at some point. But I also want to pull it. So we're going to go ahead and set this aside first. So again, first and foremost, thank you for the, to the Pokemon coming for this. And let's see if we can get the first box luck. <laughs> It'll be actually pretty funny if I do get first box luck and pull the Charizard on my first box. And then I have all these boxes I pre-ordered that are on the way. Which, again, first of all, probably not the worst thing to happen. Uh, honestly, if I get the card, that's all that really matters. Um, and if not, well, at least uh, we have more stuff on the way. Where are my sleeves? I feel like at this point I should just release a t-shirt that says where's my sleeves because I lose them every single video when I record like I literally prepared every single time I put I put them out set them next to me and then it magically disappear all right here we go first time opening brilliant uh stars I do have an embargo on this so I'm recording this on the 30th and I think I won't be able to release it for another like week or so um from the time of me recording this but hey I'm just excited to hop into this so here we go so since this is the first time we're seeing these, I'm going to take it a bit easy and slow in the beginning. And then we'll speed up and kind of get right into the goodies. There we go. We're not even going to check the back of the cards to make sure that if it's a, a white, cor white card or a green, what, green card uh, or whatever new system they have. I, I kind of want to enjoy these. Woo! We got Staryu. We got Riolu. Oop. We got Starly. And I'll cream in the first card is a Warmadam. So white coat card. Remember, we want the green one for... Um, the hit, the hit packs. There's a code card if you guys want to try to get some uh, TCG, online TCG action. Let's go into the next one. By the way, I also bought some uh, Neo packs the other day. I got uh, four Neo Revolutions, uh, Revolutions, Revolution, Revelation, sorry, and I got four Neo Genesis. And I did do the weighing thing to make sure that we got, you know, reason to open them. And if I waited correctly, either I have two and two that are hits. Or maybe three and three that I hit. Because uh, one of each side was very, very light. And then the other ones were very heavy. And then the in-between one were the third one. So we'll see what happens. Uh, we're going to try to open that at some point in the near future. Oh, why are you upside down? Whoa, that was interesting. We're going to open those at some point in the near future. So stay tuned for that. I was actually saving them to open them at Leonhardt's thing last week. Um, or I guess for me it was yesterday. But some things came up. And unfortunately, I was not able to make it out, which sucks because it looked like the event was a lot of fun. So uh, much love to Leonardo and congratulations for him for that amazing event because it looked really, really fun on, on uh, stream. Cast form. We got Chimchar, Baltoy. If you're excited about the set, comment section below. Let me know what you're looking forward to to pull the most. How creamy. So, so far, we're just getting the uh, the unlucky packs, getting all the white code cards out of the way. But I'm expecting this. In the Charizard. Look at that art, man. Why is this not a car, uh, card art? Is this a card art? Is this what it looks like, if I remember correctly? I don't remember it, because uh, there's like four different arts. Well, it's like two different arts. There's the alternate art, and then you got like the, the hyper rare and the full art. They all look very good, but that looks insane. That looks insanely good. Here we go. Let's pop into this. Should we get a little sneak peek in the back? Oh, it's a white code card, so we can hop right to the back and see we just got a Flygon. There we go. Code card, boom. Put this over here. Let's go into the next pack, and hopefully the first hit that we get ends up being the hit. Imagine the very first uh, banger card we get ends up being the alternate R Charizard. I will scream. <laughs> the video would just end. Well, probably not, but you know what I mean. We got Magmar, Spiritomb. Um, Astral's Premonition. Lucario! Oh, that was a reverser. We got Lucario. That looks dope, too. Ooh, 
you know what? Lucario will be in the background for the rest of this video for my good luck charm. And then there's a code card for somebody who wants to get uh, some TCG online packs. Let's go into the right side over here and pop into the Shaman pack. Let's see what we got. I've been looking forward to this set for like the longest, you know, uh, with me having kind of a drought, I'm not just on the channel, but just opening stuff in general. I've been looking forward to just hunting for something. Big, ooh, we got green. So we got something fire in this one. Here we go. Oh. Uh, Lemignon for the first one. I saw that it was like a full arty card and I got really excited for a second. I'm like, wait a minute. It's just a fish. It is just a fish and it makes me want to get sushi after this. All right, let's go into the next. So we got a uh, hit back to back in between the Lucario and the Luminion V. Oh, it's a white coat card. Uh, I guess we'll skip past this. There you go. We got a Drud Drudagon and then an upside down Sigilyph and Grotto. Why are these like weirdly? You see that? Also, look at the centering on this. Ooh, that's almost uh, that's almost error. That, actually, that is an error card. It's misaligned. Look, look at that. It's misaligned. You see how it's like crooked? Interesting. Interesting. And there's a code card if you want that. Oh, here we go. Boom. Put you over here. Hopefully, the hits are all good. We'll see what happens. Now, I don't think a alternate art is guaranteed per box, but I will say all the alt arts that exist in a set are beautiful. Like, they're really good. Again, something I want the most, in comment section below, you can also tell me what you want the most. Something I want the most is an alternate art Lugia! I forgot they also have these inside this. An alternate art Lugia to come out at some point in 20... 2022, 2023, just in the near future. Because I feel like with how crazy these arts get, can you imagine how, how crazy they would go? For an alternate Arlugia in modern in modern day Pokemon, I don't get why a second gen doesn't get that much love at all. Like we just got the Typhlosion in um, Legends Arceus, so we're probably gonna get a new Typhlosion card at some point in the near future. But I feel like when it comes down to second gen stuff, we don't see it as often anymore. When's the last time a Ho card came out or a Lugia card? I mean, we got we had Lugia cards that are like regular Hollows. We also had like a pre-release, but like when's the last time we had like a full art alternate art like crazy rarity? For the starters of so Feralgear, Typhlosion, Megane is not a big fan favorite, but at least the first two. And then of course, Ho-Oh and Lugia. Come on, Pokemon Company. It's my one wish for the year. Let me get that. Go Lurk. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What is this? What is this? What? 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 What just happened? What does this mean? Is this like a token card you're supposed to use with the V-Stars? Or no? I'm so confused. I'm so lost What as to what... Maybe the Elite Trainer Box will have something in there. I'm gonna assume maybe for the V-Stars playability you have to have that card. So we just pulled that and it seemed to have been an extra card. Weird. Very weird actually. Okay, we have another white code card, so we're just gonna skip past this. Axew, Breloom, there you go. That's so weird. It's got it's gotta be what it is. It's probably like a special card you're supposed to use for I don't know V Star abilities or something. Because I assume V Star cards are like the next level of like powerful. And yeah, right, let's pop into this next one. Plot twist is just some kind of crazy error, and they're not supposed to be released there. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. White code card again, so we're just gonna skip past this because we're gonna get right into. The goodies, the meat, the meat of these packs. There you go. I also want to open that uh, Elite Trainer box as well. Let's see what we got over here. I, I want to check the back with this one. I'm going to just hop right in. Here we go. Cast form. We got Throw. We got Shroomish, Piplup, Turtwig, Magmortar. And we got a Charizard V. <laughs> a full art Charizard V. That's. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. It's super off center. Look at that. Look at the look at look at the centering of that. Let's move it to the side, and then let's check the last couple. That has me excited. You know, I also get excited. I've noticed, and I don't want to like you know put negative energy out there, but I've noticed often when I pull a card, whatever I pull in like the full art form, uh, I pull the secret rare in the same box as well, and that's been a, a thing that's been happening a lot lately. So. I'm hoping that that ends up being my good luck charm for this video. Because if we get that amazing Charizard <laughs> alternate art, the one where he's fighting Venusaur, I'm going to scream. Very, very loudly. 
by Coach Bar, so I just kind of get, get right past it. There you go. Esca Escavalier, played all Grottle, and then there is a code card. Um, so yeah, that, that's hype. <laughs> that's cool. I mean, anytime a Charizard is pulled, I always say, say it's a W. It's definitely a win. Let's pop into this one. I'm not going to check the back because I won't be surprised. Nah, check the back. Oh, okay. You're going to get something out of this one. Axew, Impidimp, Magmar, Flygon. Luminion alternate art. Is this, you see what I mean? You see what I mean? <laughs> so, not excited about that one, but good lord, does that look beautiful. Now, it doesn't mean we're just out yet. We're not out yet. Because you are able to pull multiple alternate arts per box. Uh, that happened to me before. Again, you guys unfortunately did not see me do that with um, my last Fusion Strike box, but I literally pulled the Gengar and the Mew alternate art in the same box. It was crazy. Crazy, and that's the one that uh, I sent into PSA and they came back as 10s. So yeah, um, so I'm hoping that that being in this box is a sign of what else is to come because, again, if we pull that Charizard immediately, it's a good day. Also, we also have the, the Charizard V-Star, which is beautiful as well. Uh, so we got nothing here, let's kind of skip right past it. There you go, Gibble. Um, so again, there's a lot of goodies you can get inside this set, which is why I'm so excited about it. I'm stoked! happy we got Arceus in the front yeah we got Arceus Arceus by the way great game been playing non-stop I have like <laughs> 30 hours in it and it's been out for like basically two days and I regret nothing Ooh. let's see what we got Shroomish we got a Piplup Turtwig Sneasel Reverse is a Cafe Master and <laughs> we got Charizard again Charizard V you see what I mean like we got the Charizard V we got the full art Charizard can we get the last one as well to go along with it Man, that would be wild. Ooh, and I love the art. Like, I'm telling you, these cards, even just uh, being a V card, look fantastic. Looks fantastic. All right, that can move to the side. There you go. All right, let's go into the next one. We got Shaman. We got a Shaman. Imagine both a Luminion and a Charizard alternate are in the same box. That would be wild. If you are playing Arceus, by the way, um, let me know what you started with down below. So it's fun to kind of toss out questions like that because Eric can participate if you play the game, obviously. And the barrel. Dope. Let me know how you've been liking that as well. Again, I love the freedom of it, and I hope that this is the direction Pokemon games take forever. Which might be controversial because, you know, some people just like the traditional style that we've been getting for like the past 25 years. I love the new style. It's so fun. Like, I just, I, I get to, I get the game that I wanted my entire life. Ooh. Oh, I'll creamy. I forgot you can also get these still, even though I pulled uh, the uh, Urn Guru earl earlier. So I guess the white code cards, um, or I guess the old green ones in this case, can still have uh, good cards to pull because you can get those uh, trainer cards. But yeah, it's literally the game I've always dreamed about. And being able to play that today is just crazy. Too. You know, I was thinking about this the other day, how I spent the entirety of the day the other day waiting for Arceus to come out, and I played Yu-Gi-Oh! the entire day because they just released Master Duel, which has been a fun game as well. And I, I waited the entire day just to, um, you know, get play a new Pokemon game. And I'm like, what year is it? We're to the point where nothing has changed in like the last, you know, lifetime. <laughs> Kid me, adult me, same person. Just playing Yu-Gi-Oh! on Pokemon and I'm here for it. Oh, I'm here for it. Tell me that's, okay, just a white code card. I definitely just dropped that. And we got nothing out of this one. It's fine. Ooh, whoa, wait a minute. Why is this just a regular rare? I'm gonna need this. I'm gonna need this in like hollow format or like a reverse rare because that looks good. Hello? Are you kidding me? That has to be one of the coolest looking regular rares I've ever seen. In the last couple years, of course. That looks wild. Why is that just a regular rare? Pokemon Company did not need to snap this hard with some of this art. Green? Oh, it's a, a white coat card, I guess. There it is again. It's another V-Star. And it seems to be an extra... No, no, no. It's not an extra card. It's in place of the energies. Okay. So we got two of these. Again, I have no idea what they mean yet, but I assume it has to do with like a... It's like a token card in order to use the abilities. Okay. Put that over here. Let's get right into the next pack. So that definitely is not an error. It's definitely intended to get those. Okay. Wow. All right. Let's get into the next one. Um, let's just check it. Yeah. All right. Nose pass. We got the Dene. Cup chew. We got Shinx. 
Starly. And a more Pico. Imagine more Pico V alternate art is the other one we get inside a set. I don't know if they even have that. But because, again, going with my theory of, of the uh, the V cards that I get in the box, is usually the alternate art that I get in the box as well. At least from what I've been seeing. Even in my um, other video, when I pulled the Gengar, I definitely pulled Gengar V Max as well as the alternate art of the same box as well. So it was a golly box. And again, I'm upset that I never recorded that one. At that point, I had kind of given up. Ooh! I had given up on recording uh, Fusion Strike because I had opened so many. And I haven't had much luck with the set. And of course, when I the one time when I stop recording is when beauty happens. <laughs> because why not, you know? All right, let's get into this next one. Let's see what we got. I'm gonna go check the back. Let's get right into it. Chimchar, Minchino, Baltoy, Snorunt, Ice Q, and a Garchomp. Nice. And there is the last couple with the code card as well. And now we're gonna finish it off by going on the left side. Let's see what we got. Man, I'm excited. I'm so hyped for the set. <laughs> this is going to be kind of a longer video, which I hope is okay with you guys. I think since we've seen most of it, I'm going to just kind of go to the back and see if we have a green code card and just kind of go through the packs that way. Gibble, Trap Inch. That was in this box? Bro, I didn't realize you can get the Alter Arts for the trainer cards in that slot. That's a banger pool! <laughs> Yo! That's crazy! Oh, I'm happy about that one. I am happy about that one. Oh my god. Ooh. This was definitely one that was on my list. This was definitely one. You know what? We're gonna put you in front of the Mewtwo. This is definitely definitely on my list. Um, when I was going through the original list of, of trainer cards that I wanted from that set when it came out, you know, in Japan. Wow. I think, uh, actually, I still have the card next to me. This is the one I also really, really want, is the Rayquaza. There's some dust on it. There you go. Don't worry, I got the dust off. <laughs> it's been literally sitting next to my desk since I pulled it. Um, it was a couple weeks ago now. And I thought about sending it off to PSA, but I was like, you know what? I just The prices just are just kind of crazy. And until they really come down, become normal, I'm probably not going to grade as much as I used to. We got white code cards, so we can kind of skip. There you go. And if we see a trainer card, then um, great. But in the meantime, I'll kind of speed open this and get right into the goodies. So two Charizards and an Umbreon VMAX. I would say this has been a really good opening. Another white code card. So we can also get, if I remember, if I remember correctly, unless they split it, I assume that the, uh, the Charizard with Leon should be also in this set as well. I assume all the trainer cards that came out in Climax um, VMAX are in this set as well. Which means there's going to be a lot to collect. <laughs> a lot to collect. Get right to the back again. Uh, we got Barry. Barry not creamy. There you go. Uh, if you are chasing after the, the trainer cards as well, let me know in the comment section below which one you want the most. For me, definitely it was the Rayquaza and the um Umbreon. I want the Leon uh, as well. I'm gonna say Leon hard. I want the Leon as well, but I mostly want the texture cards more more than anything. So we're gonna slow down this one because we can get something crazy here. Death Skull, Magmortar, and just a Hollow Torterra. I mean, I think between pulling the Umbreon VMAX and the alternate art. Actually, I wouldn't even say it's alternate art. I think this is just like the secret rare version of Umbreon, right? Uh, between pulling that and the, uh, the Luminion, I think the box should be basically done. But I might be wrong. And I'm, I hope I'm wrong, actually. Because if I pull something else in this, this is going to be the most ridiculous box released. Aritos, and then a Grand Bull. So nothing too special there. So it looks like you get a decent amount of trainer cards per box as well, if you were to get a booster box. I assume the rates per box is about the same, so probably get like four or five-ish. Give or take one or two. Check the back, white code card again, so we're gonna just kind of skip. I'm only skipping through as fast as because um, I got also the Brilliant Star box next to me as well to open on the same video. And I don't want this to be too, we already had 19 minutes of recording, so that's why I'm going a little bit faster. So I hope that's okay with you guys. Got white code card again. And we got I like the buzz as the reverse. There's that. And I know some people will want to see every single card individually. Uh, to which I just want to say hey, there's lots of other channels that really like put in a lot more effort in, you know, going through the pack slower, if that makes sense. 
I just want to get to the hollow. I just want to get to the hollow and see if we got something fire. And uh, if you got a problem with that, I, I don't know what to tell you. I apologize. I'm just excited. So that's just how I open my cards. Okay. We have three packs left. I just dropped this one, which is usually always a good sign. Good luck. Good luck. Sign. Good lord. That was a tongue twister. I want to say good luck charm and sign at the same time. And my brain was just not having it. So I'm actually not even going to check the back with this one because I dropped it. Let's go right through it slowly. And just assume that this is about to have something crazy in it. No, it did not. It did not have anything crazy. It just had a Clefable. And there's a code card for one of y'all. All right, down to the last two packs before we go into the ETB. And hopefully the ETB can really bring the luck. Watch me watch pull Umbreon VMAX in the ETB. That will be hilarious. All right, we might get one more hit. And this is going to be in this pack right here. Snorunt, Clink, Dedene, Kupchu, Riolu, Infernape. I actually saw the top of the, the back of this car for a second. I'm like, oh, there's something back here. It's just an Infernape, but it's a great Infernape. Good Lord. Again, they're snapping. I've got another one of these. They've been snapping with the art. Even like the regular hollows. And again, like that Mewtwo in the back. Crazy. Craziness. All right. So I'm going to assume this is probably going to be a white coat card with nothing too crazy inside this. So let's see what we got. We'll, just, we'll go to the back. Yep. 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 There you go. And just a uh, nose pass. And then that wraps up that first box. I'm not mad. This is great. This is fantastic. Woo! All right. I'm going to go ahead and open up the uh, ETB. And I'll probably just do a cut right here. So just to point out, these are some of the alternate arts you can get. There is Umbreon V, which is, uh, mine's a V Max is what I got. So we got, uh, Urshifu, Urshifu twice. So it looks like it's all the same ones from, uh, the Japanese set, right? No, it's not actually. It's not all. There's some missing from, from the looks of it. As you can see, this is basically like the first long, first wave of it. Okay. So I pulled the, pull, I probably pulled the best one so far. You also have the shinies in here. So you have between Arceus and then the three birds. It's cool. I love these two, by the way. The Flare and the Vaporeon. Dude, look at that Charizard. That Rainbow Rare Charizard looks insane. And then there it is. Our big target is I want that Charizard VMAX. Or the Charizard V right there, the alternate art. That looks crazy. And of course, none other than the Charizard V-Star himself as well, which is a big target for the set. Okay, so let's get into these packs. We should have eight more packs and then hopefully eight more good chances to pull the card we're looking for there's a code card if you guys want the uh, etb and also i want to point out these uh sleeves look really clean as well i've never been the biggest fan of arceus himself as a pokemon uh i think the concept is cool but i just never really liked his design nor did i care about his backstory but th that those sleeves look clean clean all right so again to save time i'm gonna go right to the back so that's a skip probably and i know if we do this we're gonna uh, actually come across a trainer card as well which is fine but again, I don't want this video to be too crazy long. I guess my raw recording is already over 25 minutes. So by the time you're watching this, it should probably be in like the 20 minutes-ish range. Yeah. All right, this, is, this should be a hit. Well, it is a hit. Uh, but I don't know if it's going to be like a hollow hit or like a crazy hit that we're trying to pull. It's just Infernape. Back to back. So we're already doubling up. We're doubling up in the hollows. Put that over there. And then go into the next one. My luck with ETBs usually is not very good. Um, it's usually been, it's been pretty average, I'll say. Uh, and usually I get like a couple of V cards, maybe like one or two V cards in the hollow. But in general, I never pull like the crazy chase cards in ETBs. I don't know what the pull rates are for stuff like that, but it's just my experience. It's just never been that good. Maybe Q V Max. I mean, this is what I mean. Uh, it's a full art. It's kind of cool, but not like in the range of what I'm looking for. And I'm willing to bet that this is probably going to be the best card uh, pulled in this entire box. Um, Value-wise or chase-wise, whatever you want to call it. Like rarity-wise, if you want to call it. Ooh, another one. Hold on, hold on. We're getting some green code cards back-to-back, -back, though. Maybe you might. Maybe our luck changes today. Let's find out. Spiritomb, Starly, Cupchoo. And then more Pika. We're doubling up, man. We're doubling up. Every time I open a pack and I see it's green... And don't see the green, which sounds weird to say because I don't care about the green. But uh, chase-wise, value-wise, I'm like, damn. 
that could have been it. This could be still a, yeah, just a Cynthia's Ambition. I was gonna say, it could still be like a, a trainer card, but again, I don't think trainer cards are even guaranteed in ETBs themselves. I don't even think there's like a guarantee for how many you can pull in a booster box as well. Um, but for me, I feel like, uh, yeah, see what we get. Nothing. We got a, a, a belt and an ice cube. Dope, 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 dope. There you go. And I think we're down to the last two packs. Can we do some two pack magic? I'm opening up Charizard last. We go into Shaman first. And for these last two, I'm not even going to check the back. We'll just, we'll just assume that these last two packs are the best packs of the video and go right through it nice and slowly. Nice and easy. Riolu, no trainer card. And it was a green code card, but unfortunately it was just a professor's research. So nothing out of that one. And then the final pack. Can I get some final pack magic with the Charizard art? You see what I mean though? Like the Charizard um, V-Star card looks great, but this art is beautiful. I wish that this was a card. They look pretty similar, but still, I wish that that was, oh, and I ruined it. We've got nothing. We got nothing except for a Leopard. All right, and, and one of these again, but it's um, backwards. It's kind of weird. Uh, okay, so then there's a final code card, and yeah, I'm excited for the set. You know, pulled some pretty cool start uh, cards for the first time opening it. What I'm really excited about was the double Charizard, and then probably the best VMAX, um, like, secret rare trainer card you could pull, which, is, of course, is the Karen and the Umbreon, which is just dope. Look at that. That looks so cool. So cool. So, yeah, stay tuned for more. Once my uh, product all starts arriving over the course of the next couple weeks, I'm going to do a lot of openings on the channel here. Or I might open some off-camera and some on-stream. I'm not really sure yet. But uh, stay tuned for more basics I'm trying to say. But uh, thank you guys for watching. My name is Ryan Style. I'll see you in the comment section below. Peace.